hello guys welcome to my youtube channel uh please if this is your first time watching my youtube video please check the subscription button and subscribe for more videos so this is prof one yt and today's lesson will be based on applied electricity that is current division rule so let's hit the road so um when we talk about current division rule or current division it's applied to share current between parallel branches so Normally, uh, with when you talk about uh, resistance being in parallel, because they are in parallel because they have different current flowing through them. So, as regards to the series, which have uh, the same current by different voltage. So, now let's consider this diagram. That is this diagram very nicely done. So, let's consider this diagram. So this is a diagram given to us and one thing about the current division rule is that when a complex uh, diagram is given to you, you try to reduce it into this form. That is, you try to reduce the uh, circuit into this form. That is, you find the total resistance and make sure that at the end you get a diagram like this before you can find the current of each resistance. So let's check this. So we have uh, our voltage here that's the main source the source so this is um, the current moving from the positive terminal of the source so it's moving from here it's going this one so this is um this is the uh, the voltage source moving to the resistance so this is I that's the total current from the main source moving to this resistance right okay so and uh, when the current gets to a node, it divides. That is, it divides. So when it divides, the current moving through here is I1. That is I1 passing through this resistor. And also, when since it is I1, the resistor is R1. I get it. So when uh, it divides from the node, it also passes through here, making another uh, passing to another resistance that is the current has divided into two making um, i2 yes so making i2 that is i2 right so if there is i2 it means that the resistance here will be i2 as i said earlier when trying to find uh, the current of each resistance using current division rule you must make sure that the diagram has been reduced to this form that is it has been reduced to this form. So we are going to prove the formula for finding the current in I1 and I2. So the current passing through I, uh, that is resistor 1, and the current passing through resistor 2. This applies to, that is, parallel branches. So you need to reduce the diagram to this. So let's go. So uh, as you know that from my previous video, we talked about how to find the total resistance in uh, in parallel and series. So which one, since it's in parallel, that's uh, the parallel deals with the current division rule and the um, the short circuit, that is, sorry, for voltage drop, voltage drop deals with series. Are you getting it? That's it. So let's do. So here, the R total is equal to the R1 times R2 all over R1 plus R2. This is a formula for finding the total resistance of uh, in a parallel circuit. So this is it. So this, you know that from your Ohm's law, that is voltage, as in the potential difference is going to the current times the <coughs> total resistance. So as you know from this, you know that that <coughs> from Ohm's law, V is equal to I times the total resistance. So as you know that, therefore, V will be equal to I times the total resistance. From the total resistance, you know that now the total resistance has been given as this, since it is in what? Parallel. So therefore, V will be equal to I times R1 all over R1 plus R2. You move down that. You know that when making I1 the subject from the um, Ohm's law, I1 will be equal to V over R1. Yes, to find the current in one of the resistor, this resistor, to find the current in this resistor, it will be equal to I1 is equal to V, that is the voltage coming from the source, all over the R1, which is that. So, when you do that correctly, you know that V here has been now replaced with 
this is v now this v1 so now v now is now i times r1 times r2 all over r1 plus r2 so the reason why we brought this one here is from v1 all over r1 so we have the r1 now you try to simplify this as in when you simplify this you are going to have i times r1 times r2 all over r1 plus r2 times 1 over r1 so this r1 is going to cancel this r1 therefore finding the current in r1 using current division rule you're going to get i that's the main the total current coming from the source times r2 that is the r2 this resistor all over the summation of r1 plus r2 that's the formula for finding the current in or finding i1 yes in resistor one so this is for i1 and make sure now note that when the diagram is given to you you must make sure that you reduce the diagram into this form into this form thank you so now let's check for i2 with i2 is the same procedure so r total is equal to r1 times r2 all over r1 plus r2 so we are going to get that v as you know that v is equal to i1 times r total you know that r total is r1 plus r2 all over r1 plus r2 so you have this so now you know that this is it so this is now this you know that out i2 to find i2 from the diagram let's go back to the diagram from i2 you know this i2 you're going to get um uh, that is i2 is equal to v over r2 and when we place in with v you know that v is equal to i times r1 times r2 all over r1 plus r2 all over r2 so now you're going to simplify this that is i2 is equal to i times r1 times r2 all over r1 plus r2 times 1 over r2 so this will cancel the r2 so to find the um to find the total uh, current in i2 you're going to get i is equal or uh, that is i2 is equal to i times r1 all over r1 times uh, plus r2 so that is it so there are two formulas when solving this and that is you make sure that you put this in your head this is not you can look at this and just you can prove it anytime you want yes so i'm saying it again when a question is given to you with you using current division rule what you must do is you must try to reduce the um diagram to be like this yes so that it can be in, you have r2 and r1 so imagine i have maybe a lot of resistors being in series you need to find all of them so that you have one resistor and to be parallel with another resistor and you find it like this Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please um, like, comment, and share. So my next video will be on, we'll take a question on current division rule and try applying this. Thank you very much.